Hey what's up guys, Steve here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with another City Bus Manager video as promised and it's been a while so forgive me if you've not caught the last episode of City Bus Manager, I will link it in the top right hand side of the screen because it's been a while since we were last here. Um, so we've got a lot to do, there's been a lot of changes since uh, the last time we were here, um, it's been a whole number of uh, updates so there's a lot of new features um, some new uh, UI and uh, some new missions so um, let's head on over and we'll see where we can start um, where we left off and what new bits we can pick up in today's episode Alright guys, so you'll find us here at the depot, uh, familiar as I say for those that have seen the last couple of episodes in the series. Um, <coughs> we've got a lot of smaller bus stops and a couple of large bus stops, uh, sorry, uh, parking. Um, I think everything is pretty much as normal uh, on here. Um, as you can see these are the routes that we had uh, last time, so uh, yeah, everything's still the same on there. Got all the different coloured routes and so on and so forth. You'll see on the right hand side are uh, challenges for this uh, part of the game. So you've got uh, two and a half thousand passengers to carry, and we need to sell uh, 376 tickets, random amount, if nothing else. Cool, here you go. So you'll see all the buses now populating around the town on the different routes that we have available. So we're not doing too bad for money, we've got about 77,000 pounds. <clears throat> and uh, a four star review so yeah we're doing all right let's check this bus so this bus is okay so yeah that's fine it seems to be pretty clean so that's all right so let's have a look and see what we need to do so bus routes seem to be doing okay um okay so this is the um obviously a couple of bus line services that we have um available um on the left hand side as you can see we've got the buses sat around there's not a lot of buses doing so we've got a uh, one to cine world a couple of tours of high wickham um hospital uh, a few other bits and pieces there so um yeah these are pretty good for money a week it sort of gives you an idea of how much they're going to how much revenue they're going to bring in so you can see this needs to connect to cine world there needs to be 66 buildings connected to the bus route uh, and it's uh, certain times of the day i think for four or five days during the week so uh, next screen is some uh sort of i guess factors about the route so things that you can add or take away and obviously bits that you need to look out for in terms of points of interest um and then obviously building so you'll see here this is one of the new changes is it now has like a catchment area so when you put a bus stop down it shows you the area that that bus stop will cover um so uh, yeah say in this particular one as you can see we need to connect to cine world and we need to have 66 buildings connected to the route so if we pick a stop there so you can see look we're already over uh, 66 so luckily uh, it's quite a high populous area um, so let's click up here and go up here so there's for those of you that know the area if you don't there is actually two cinemas or was two cinemas I think this one's now closed um, up here in the uh, top of uh, uh, the town as well so let's sort of follow that round and it's just a five guys there as well and a TGI Friday so hopefully that should pick up a few people um, and as you can see we cover 248 um, buildings so hopefully that should give some footfall that's obviously where the cinema is um let's add an extra one just to cover into it so um that should be fine i think uh yeah that doesn't look like it's particularly well rooted but um, uh, um uh, yeah maybe i don't know do we need that one do we really need that route uh i don't know maybe let's have a think about that because it kind of yeah it kind of obviously has a I don't know, we'll leave it it's fine um so you can see timetables uh, i think the timetable on this one is set so you can't really change anything um so it's obviously it selects the time that you need to do it um selects driving intervals um yeah you can't really you could just change sort of hours i think or minutes yeah you can't change hours so um yeah that's that's fine so we can uh put it back to where we started obviously it's every 60 minutes you can't really change that um and if you look in advanced settings as i say all of this is set by the client so again nothing you can do really here as you can see it picks it for four days thursday friday saturday and sunday and every 60 minutes so i think yeah that's probably okay this is new screen as well so you can set it off straight away um or you can uh, activate the bus route later um we're going to activate the route now 
uh, and I think we're good to go so uh, I don't think we need to assign a bus to it just yet uh, and some of these are actually pretty underutilized um, okay so yeah I think we'll um, allocate that in a minute um, because I do we want to assert additional bus no um, that's fine so that, that should be fine I think for the minute we can worry about that uh, in a bit hopefully a bus will pick that up and go and uh, and we should be fine for that route so you can see our tasks on the right side are uh, are increasing somewhat we're uh, 348 um, tickets uh, and about 1200 passengers so uh, I think we're okay for buses they seem to be pretty well managed uh, in terms of the route optimization uh, we've got one bus sat there so we don't really need to do that this is new so the vehicle groups and the ability to change some of the bits and pieces is, is, is all new as well um, and I don't think we need to worry too much about this I think staff's okay yeah I think we're kind of as you can see there's yeah no no routes have been tour yet so obviously we're waiting for the bus to make its start so we'll come back to that in a moment but yeah I think there's say obviously quite a little um, sort of like head office here not too much uh, done we've got one I think uh, person doing the um, like the research and development uh, that's uh, that's just you can see I'm just sat in the office there I can't remember what they're researching now we'll have to have a look at that in a minute um, no route still hasn't started yet so that's fine as we don't need to mess around with this uh, yeah we're fine on that one and that's Cinewell which is there yep yeah, that's fine okay is that the bus sat there don't know I'm trying to see if that's the uh, the bus that sat there at the stop the uh, the, the blue little mini bus but I don't know anyway let's leave it to it um, that's fine confirm that activate bus route now that's fine so no that obviously wasn't the bus that was doing it so yeah we haven't started it yet so I guess that will um, I guess start at some point uh, in the future so um, what we're we gonna do so I think probably we might need to expand a little bit maybe we should put in a couple more bus um, parking stops because we're gonna need some more uh, buses to optimize these routes because some of them will start to get busy soon so let's build a street and let's just extend the street out just a little bit so we can get a couple more bus um, parking spots down the end here uh, let's put that there and no there there you go and one there and then I think that should be good so let's have a look and see we're okay for buses I uh, yeah we'll probably need the bigger buses I think it's probably good to have the buses with more seats because obviously as uh, routes get busier um, it'll be easier you can see what we can't have on these buses so um, yeah obviously we need to do a little bit of research uh, with regards to some of the uh, extra bits and pieces you can add to the bus so let's pick a color and we'll go for the usual blue I think every single bus is a slightly different shade of blue we're probably uh, should uh, should make a note of the code so that they match. Yeah, look, they go completely different shade of blue. Um, all right, so that's going to park in its spot there. Uh, that's fine. Everything seems to be driving shifts. That's sat in the depot waiting. So yeah, you got all of the um, sort of fact it's clean. Obviously, yeah, you can see the upgrades here, um, which is air conditioning, passengers um, information service, uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, charging points and uh, premium seating which of which we have none because none of it has been uh, actually researched yet through the research tree so um, okay we've got a new bus unlocked so what's the new bus um, okay so that's the solo buses um, okay so we've got another solo bus that we can do we can't do articulated or double deckers yet uh, obviously you can see we could do air conditioning there uh, what else we've got better food for your employees everything else seems to be locked for the minute so there doesn't seem to be a lot else that we can do um, and let's research the air conditioning to hopefully make people a little bit more comfortable I doubt it but you never know um, alright cool so that's fine um, what else have we got to do just trying to think what else we've got to do now um, no route still hasn't completed a route that's annoying um, obviously maybe it's just that we haven't I don't know it is I suppose it is eight o'clock at night so maybe the route starts early in the morning um, all right cool so that's the new bus there we need to assign that to a route at some point um, you can see that we completed our task on the right side of carrying the 376 people um, 
we have got now increase your bus network create more bus routes to connect 65 percent of the buildings and points of interest on your bus service afterwards use buses on new routes um cool so i uh, say new task uh, so do we need to hire any new bus drivers as we've now got new buses uh, so he's at home he's fine oh yeah you can also now apply uh, the same wage to all novice bus drivers and all like experienced bus drivers so you don't have to keep messing around with wages you can make them all earn the same money um I don't know whether you can actually give them a pay deduction, but maybe, yeah, pay rise. Um, cool, so I think we're okay for everything else here. Yeah, it's fine, you can start to see some of the buses coming back now from shift. So, probably have to get them turned around. Um, again, some new bits and pieces here where you can set up things like when to clean a bus on how dirty it is. So you can automate all of that eventually. Um, but that's, uh, yeah, that'll be uh, obviously something, I guess, to develop in the future. Uh, that's fine routes seem to be doing okay like I say buses are now starting to return back uh, from their various different routes all wrong button um, and then yeah we'll just have to turn them around so probably just make sure they're all clean and tidy uh, and ready to head out for the next route so uh, don't need to I don't think we need any of these we've got most of this in storage so nothing really needs to be um, be bought so that's fine nothing seems to be broken either we haven't had a bus breakdown in a in a short while um cool let's turn on the front desk for some reason that one was turned off uh and see so got some reviews so uh you notice we got a lot of five stars four stars and the odd one or two review um obviously you're never going to get that uh, we can now time jump so maybe we'll leave that for a little bit um there's your routes again so that's um, fine i think buses yet no buses on route so that's fine because it's uh, nearly nine o'clock uh, that one still hasn't got anything on it do want to insert an additional bus on that route i don't think it's going to be busy enough to do it um yeah i don't know if it's going to be busy enough to need it need two buses um maybe insert that one we'll put that one on there and uh, that's fine so that'll be between uh, quarter past 10 and something so um yeah we'll, we'll leave that one there and uh, say hopefully that one will start to uh, start to pan around the route um that is still developing um how much research points have we got 37 research points so um i suppose we could improve the f level of food so that increases the friendliness um yeah let's click on that one we'll do that one um everything else i think is pretty much there as i say you can upgrade and expand your business as you get more routes i guess um, and as you get more uh, area on the actual um uh, the map uh, so let's have a check of these buses make sure they're all clean and tidy so that one looks okay um, that one could probably do with a bit of a clean they're pretty dirty so let's send some of these for cleans that's fine uh, what about that next one that's filthy and needs some outside wash uh, that needs some fuel and a clean and what else that one needs a clean and I think that's okay for everything else I think that minimum amount will be fine that one's okay and yeah that should be okay on that one so a couple of buses at the top there so let's clean that do that maybe fuel it yeah let's fuel that and uh, that one needs a clean and a wash and might as well fuel it as well while everything's doing it so these people will scuttle around and hopefully uh, do what they need to do with all these buses and make sure everything's fueled and cleaned and whatnot um that's fine he's going in there there's a couple more service employees look like they're doing yeah it's like they're grabbing cleaning and obviously fueling and what there we go i was wondering where it was going there for a minute that's fine so yeah let's wait and uh, see while these are doing all their things all right cool so yeah those look all right they don't look too dirty or broken or anything like that um fine yeah so turn around that one all right so guys i hope everyone's okay i hope you've uh, been enjoying the fact that we're back and posting some regular videos uh the uh, the last couple of videos on um the bus and uh, airport sim have had uh, had some good views so thank you for those that have watched them um for those that have liked the videos and uh, and those new subscribers yeah we've picked up a, a few subscribers in the last week or so as well so welcome if you are one of your new subscribers all right so these are all running through yeah they're fine that's fine 
that one's I think that'd be fine that one is waiting for some fuel that's fine that one's heading back to the fuel depot oh so they should all do their thing and then hopefully once they're done uh, we should be good to go oh look our um, solo bus or whatever it's called sorry I probably should have paid attention to what type of bus it was um, is back and unfortunately we've got no spaces so we need to get another bus stop there for the small bus so let's build that one and put it there all right cool so he's back there that's fine I think that's pretty much everything oh no they're still doing some bits you see all the new stuff that they've put into the game um, from the first time that we entered there's, there's loads of extra bits and pieces that you can add now all stuff you can add to the workshop all stuff you can add to the corridors you know extra plants um, the offices have got loads of extra stuff look I mean look you see all the bits and pieces you can have here you can have different lamps there's printers photocopiers all that stuff kitchens got extra extra bits to it now as well such as better chairs um, bathroom again actually has a few plants in it uh, not so much new disc bits in a warehouse service center's got a ton of chairs plants um, tables screens all that stuff um, so they've really gone and added a few extra bits and pieces to uh, make the game uh, a bit broader a bit more um, uh, a bit more stuff that you can sort of put down and, and, and make the offices look uh, less sparse I think it's uh, probably the best way to say it but yeah it looks um, looks good looks like I say there's speed this up a little bit because I want to try and time jump to the morning but I know there's still stuff going on can't time jump when obviously the vehicles are being prepped and ready so let's wait for this one to go and uh, he's getting fueled as well so let's wait for that cool now can we time jump no nope, still one more bus where's this bus going which one is it that's still waiting to do stuff come on there we go that one all right cool so uh, had a new review so there we go uh, you can read the review there great job buses are always clean and tidy so that's good um, right is that everything done is that all the buses can we time jump now yes there you go oh we jumped a few hours at least <clears throat> so um, let's have a look so a couple of new updates some emails from staff members saying um, that they are happy I guess um, oh we got a phone call look quick answer it um, so we've been asked to do a shuttle service. Uh, we need a bus shuttle for an event. The shuttle is needed from Friday to Monday. Um, we expect up to 120 passengers per hour, per hour and would like the intervals of about 30 minutes and we'll pay you £10,400. So now <clears throat> technically we already have a route doing this because it's out to the football ground but it doesn't go to where they want it to go. So you notice the stop here for the football ground, which is Adams Park, so home of the mighty Wickham Wanderers for those that uh, that know. Um, so we have to connect that and we have to connect that with High Wickham. So um, High Wickham over here, so that's the bus station there. Um, no, it's not the bus station. Do we need to add more uh, stops? Let's put a stop in before just in case. Okay, so it doesn't need, um, no, still not clicked, okay. Where are we missing? Ah, it's to the train station. So it's not uh, it's not to High Wycombe, it's to High Wycombe train station. There we go. All right, perfect. So I don't know whether it requires stops in between or whether it is literally just between the two. So let's delete the two that we don't need because there we go, and those two. Um, and then, yeah, let's say that should just be between the two and it should give us enough. So let's click OK on that one. Um, that's fine, it always has that message. So I'm sure it will uh, create a round trip route. So that's fine. Um, that's perfect so we need to uh, assign a couple of buses so let's get some of these buses out on the road and uh, get them gone so that's fine get rid of that one assign that one assign that one and assign that one cool there we go so those buses should all disappear out soon and hopefully be yep yeah, there we go uh, all sm smashing together in one exit as they go out so let's confirm the route so that's now confirmed um, <clears throat> and the shifts will uh, be required to generate automatically perfect so um, let's try and build a couple more bus stops because I think we're probably going to need some more buses um, let's add another um, solo bus um, because that um, do we go bendy bus no solo bus will be fine I think for the moment we haven't got enough people on routes to do it so let's grab that one it's weird how sometimes it's the right color and sometimes it isn't that's really strange um, yeah so anyway so we're gonna need an extra 
a um, couple of big bosses I think as I say in terms of um, maybe optimization and stuff like that the routes are starting to get a bit busier um, but we'll wait and see what happens so that's the shuttle service so that's fine um, I don't think we need to do anything because it's Friday Saturday Sunday and Monday um, yeah and we are currently uh, on Thursday so there's nothing for us to do there I don't think um, so times are all set everything's all set that's fine yeah I don't think we need to worry about that got timetable preview oh I think we're good to go um, so I don't think we need to mess around too much with that um, confirm with that one and then we'll just wait for that route to start um, I think that's how did that again white roof why did I put a white roof on that bus um, should have paid attention when buying it but anyway um, looks like we got a, another review in so let's head to the map cool so there's a bus sort of oh no that's the wrong bus that's the other route um, yeah that's uh, that's the shuttle service so that's fine I say it's not it's nothing on that route at the moment <clears throat> cool so that's fine um, that person should hopefully pick up that bus now there we go uh, that's fine and everything is uh, there's a new route so yeah really like to take the alum travel to work every day unfortunately there are so many problems that I currently have to take the car I hope this will improve in the future so um, eventually you'll be able to check the details of each one and sort of notice why people are marking you down I guess in the next one potentially we'll try and get some more research points and see uh, how we did um, all right cool so that's still obviously not required just yet um, that will come in time I'm sure um, route 6 still isn't getting anything but I know that's evening so let's fast forward a little bit try and get some time forwards as you can see we've got about 1600 uh, passengers carrying on now so uh, that is uh, <clears throat> that is closer but we've still got a long way to go obviously we're going to get another 50 um, uh, points for that once we uh, once we complete today's tasks or these tasks sorry um, so yeah so I think we're probably fine with that oh look there's a bus scooting around there um, not sure what oh my god look at all these buses they're red they are <clears throat> looking like they're full we might have to look at adding some more buses to some of these routes because they seem to be picking up quite a lot of people and uh, and seem to be at maximum capacity. So we might have to start looking at maybe upgrading some of the buses. So um, currently really satisfied with the work. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you're happy. Um, I, I don't know what you want me to do. I'm not, not sure what we're supposed to do with that. Do we train them? Um, yeah, all right, okay. Whatever, it's a cleaner. Um, so uh, yeah obviously very happy with our employment we're not working them too uh, too much so all right cool so air conditioning is researching I don't know how long that takes I guess it's based on the amount of people we've got doing research which at the moment looks like one um, and have we got yeah just one researcher so maybe should we hire another researcher maybe we should I think that might be uh, might be more beneficial to get these things sped up so that person looks okay so let's uh, pay Jacob just a little bit more perfect and then oh he needs a locker okay so let's uh, okay <coughs> we might have to add a few more lockers before we can start uh, employing anyone else so let's uh, let's go around and we'll, we'll extend extend our lockers in a second all right, those buses are okay they're pretty clean and tidy um, the bus is back from the other route so uh, that was that was fine so obviously had nobody or no route required on that one all those of people those little people wandering around um, oh so a few people dotted around a few buses dotting around uh, again no one on that route just yet I know that will go probably later um, tonight when it uh, when it gets darker um, yeah look at these buses are absolutely rammed I think yeah we're definitely gonna have to start looking at um, bigger buses look how underutilized these uh, routes are so let's get some additional buses going around these routes and then uh, hopefully take the weight off some of the buses that are currently on there um, and then yeah maybe maybe not this episode maybe in the next one once we get a bit more money um, we'll start upgrading some of these buses and uh, and getting um, getting bigger buses on the routes it might be better than uh, trying to get a lot of small buses try and get a couple of really big buses so yeah route 3 is also extremely um, 
underutilized or overutilized, whichever one is the two, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, poorly utilized, there we go, we, we'll call it that. Um, and then, yeah, route two is getting there as well. So I guess it's at peak times um, in terms of like rush hours and stuff. So um, let's send that one out on that route and we should be, uh, hopefully, be good to go. Um, we've, as you can see, we've, we've completed our um, task of carrying the uh, two and a half thousand passengers. Uh, on the right hand side we've now got one to tour sorry to complete 90 tours successfully so we're only five uh, research points away from uh, hitting the goal uh, or the bronze goal anyway um, so that's fine that bus hopefully going out um, are these routes still really busy yeah they are um, okay we might need to add one to route two as well so what have we got left oh there are no bus drivers available okay um, so we probably need to hire another bus driver oh of course no I forgot we need to um, build some more lockers so let's go add them along there I think so let's go build uh, corridor locker and click them there we've got buses coming back there we go all right that's fine that'll be all right for the minute um, so let's hire a, actually let's check the routes first are they still really badly so route 2 is um, still bad and route 3 is still bad so okay perfect so definitely need to add maybe a bigger bus or a few um, buses to that one that one seems bad again so let's click that one we have a spare bus driver as one of them has come back so we don't need to necessarily hire um, Oh, we've got a couple of more reviews on the left hand side uh, someone's complaining about the friendliness of the bus drivers okay so we need to think about improving our bus driver friendliness um, but yeah that's there's not a lot I can do about that um, all right cool so let's add in another um, what should we do do we add another bus stop no, let's delete that one first because we don't need the small ones because we are potentially going to um, add larger buses and we might as well start building large bus parking bays um, we don't need to uh, to worry about that um, do we put can you put any, put any more up here and have like a U road no it doesn't look like it's gonna fit it's just that little bit too small so it looks like we're gonna have to sort of carry on um, round to the right hand side I think by the time you put a street in up here yeah it's not really gonna fit there is it and a, and a bus stop you might get some little ones um, up top here but I don't really want to I know the running costs are better with the little buses but I'd rather have the larger buses running around and uh, using the uh, optimized route. Oh, look at that, just short a bit of a bit of road. All right, let's put that in there. There we go. Cool, that's perfect. And there we go, put that there. Amazing. So that's fine. Um, I guess in the future we'll probably have to look at upgrading things like the garages and adding more workshop space and potentially more car wash and fuel bays and stuff. But um, obviously we'll we'll get to that when it comes to it um, I don't really want to oh good look the air conditioners uh, uh, research has been complete so we can now add air conditioning to our buses woo um, all right no don't want to buy buy two of them um, cool so let's go round and let's change that to blue again probably a different shade of blue compared to everything else and let's remember to put that back to black it's fine, apply, and then we should be good to go. There we go, hopefully these buses, yep, there we go, look at them turning up. Um, okay, so holiday request, I'm a service employee in desperate need of a break, can I please have the next 24 hours off? Yeah, go on, why not? No, we don't want to overwork our staff, the last thing we want to do is have unfriendly or bored staff, so we probably should, as we've only got two and he's on holiday for a day, probably should hire another um, service employee, so... Um, yeah, let's go with that one. So, uh, Angelica, Angel uh, again, I don't know, um, I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so we need, uh, I think these are okay. They, I think we've got, mm, one's walking around, but I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Again, we're still poorly optimized on one of these routes. Yeah, route two. So let's go insert additional bus, um, the little bus or big bus. Uh, big bus probably yeah let's put that one in and then hopefully that should take up some of the um, strain and then what we'll do is as we start adding 
or as we start getting the new buses we'll then start adding in these bigger buses instead of the small buses so hopefully that should stop the need for um, like two or three buses on each route and it should hopefully mean that each one is able to pick up um, might have to start looking at running them in shorter times if they are starting to get too many people at um, each bus stop cool so let's have a look so what have we got on what route so route 4 is an additional bus that's fine route 3 has got one and route 2 has got one so route 3 could probably do with an additional bus uh, so let's go on that one I'm, I don't know, and literally just as I select it, it disappears off. Okay, anyway. Um, I'm sure there's got to be a way of auto-assigning buses, um, or at least, um, you know, setting the amount of buses that are travelling around. Maybe I should have a look at that. All right, cool. So a couple of reviews are unfortunately really bad reviews. Um, yeah. Uh, and that's rubbish. Oh, so no Wi-Fi can't help that one. Uh, buses is okay. And someone hates my company. Um, okay, thank you very much for filling that in, and that's very constructive. So yeah, great, well done. Um, all right, cool. So let's send out a couple of buses, assign to these, and assign that one, and assign that one. That one can go straight back out again, and that one can go out there. Perfect. So that's fine. So we've got uh, 35 um, routes completed of the 90. Um, these buses should be hopefully disappearing back out again as you can see um, I don't know what the time is what the plus is I probably should um, look at that I guess that's maybe it's there for something I am sure of it I'm not sure what though we'll, we'll look into that maybe in the next one um, so yeah see all the buses now starting to make their way to the depot for their first stops um, you can see we're starting to get there you go, look at that so those routes are by far and away better um, than, than they were before. As I say, better buses, um, the utilization is so much easier. Obviously Route 1A seems to be a little bit underutilized as does Route 4. So I think maybe in the next episode, we'll get rid of some of these small buses. There's a, apparently a whole new way of selling buses now um, compared to uh, how it was before. And I'm also really, look at that, so those two at the bottom are following each other around the same route so there's no split time between them that is completely and utterly pointless but at least the one behind is picking up anyone that the one in front can't so um anyway guys i think we'll probably leave today's episode there so if you have enjoyed today's episode uh, don't hesitate to smash that like button and if you are enjoying the series of city bus manager or something else that's on the channel um, then please do subscribe uh, don't forget to click the bell notification icon uh, so you can be updated when new episodes come out in the future but yeah guys thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you all again soon take care bye so can we just